in uh, Innovators, another book of yours that I love, you write about individuals and about groups. So one of the questions the book addresses is, is it individuals or is it groups that turn the tides of history? When Henry Kissinger was on the shuttle missions for the Middle East Peace, this is the first book I ever wrote, he said, when I was a professor at Harvard, I thought that history was determined by great forces and groups of people. But when I see it up close, I see what a difference an individual can make. He's talking about Sadat and Golda Meir, probably talking about himself too, or at least in his mind. And um, we biographers have this dirty secret that we know we distort history a bit by making the narrative too driven by an individual. But sometimes it is driven by an individual. Musk is a case like that. And sometimes, as I did with the innovators, there's teams and people who build on each other. And Gordon Moore and Bob Noyce then getting Andy Grove and doing the microchip, which then comes out, and Wozniak and Jobs find it at uh, some electronics store, and they decide to build the Apple. Um, and so sometimes there are flows of forces and groups of people. I guess I err a little bit on the side of looking at what a Steve Jobs and Elon Musk and Albert Einstein can do. Um, and I also try to figure out if they hadn't been around with the forces of history and the groups of people have done it without them. That's a good historical question as a, you know, somebody who loves history. And you think about special relativity, one of the 1905 papers. Even after he writes it, it's four years before people truly get what he's saying, which is, it's not just how you observe time is relative, it's time itself is relative. And on the general theory, which he does a decade later, I'm not sure we would have gotten that yet. How, what about moving us into the era of an iPhone, in which it's so beautiful that you can't live without a thousand songs in your pocket, email and uh, the internet in your pocket, and a phone? Uh, there are a lot of brain-dead people from Panasonic to Motorola who didn't get that, and it may have been a while. I certainly think it's true of the era of electric vehicles. Jim and Ford, all the great people there, they crushed the bolt. And I mean that literally. They ended up smashing them because they decided to discontinue it. Likewise, nobody was sending up rockets. Our space shuttle was about to be grounded 12 years ago. And... So Musk does things, and there'll be people who say and read the book. Well, if they read the book, they'll see the full story. But they'll say, it wasn't Musk who did Tesla. It was Martin Eberhardt or Mark Tarpening. No, no, no. You know, there were people who had helped create, you know, the shells of companies and other things. And they were all deserved to be called co-founders. But the guy who actually gets us to a million electric vehicles a year is Elon Musk. And without him... I don't think we, look, if anybody five years from now buys a car that's gasoline powered, we'll think that's quaint, you know, that's odd. Mm -hmm. I mean, suddenly we've changed. We're not going to do it. 90% of that is Elon Musk. Mm 